hi guys <laughs> welcome back to another youtube video so for today's video we are doing as you can see by the title <laughs> a holiday makeup look and i know that this year with everything that's going on where are we going to wear this <laughs> holiday makeup look but i feel like even though we're probably not going anywhere on christmas eve or going to any holiday parties this year it is still fun to just dress up for no other purpose than just for yourself and being festive and trying to make the best out of the situation. <laughs> so I feel like just doing a fun festive look could really uplift your mood and just make you feel like, I don't know, <laughs> that you're excited and just happy for Christmas anyways. <laughs> so we're, I'm gonna do my whole face but the, the main like feature of this video is there is a new Too Faced makeup palette and each year Too Faced does a holiday collection and so when I saw this one in Sephora I was like oh my gosh it's perfect so it's called the Enchanted Wonderland and it comes inside like three little books almost kind of like stories <laughs> like Christmas bedtime stories or something uh, but I really love it so it has a there's three books so the first one is a swan which I think is just really pretty and girly and then we have a little deer with a little <laughs> crown on his head so like a little reindeer and then <laughs> a raccoon <laughs> which yeah, I just think that it's cute. It kind of reminds me of like a Disney movie or something, these three. So very, very cute. Um, and of course with Too Faced, the way that they named the shades is so adorable. So I just want to read you a couple of them really quickly before we get into this. So with the Deer palette, uh, inside you have like, some of them have like a bronzer, a bronzer and a blush or a highlighter and a blush or a highlighter and a bronzer. Um, but, and then they have the eye shades in the middle, <laughs> but so for this one it says Christmas morning, angel wings, <laughs> ding dong, 100% that Grinch, <laughs> which I just think is <laughs> so cute. Uh, all the jingle ladies, this really sparkly gold one. Uh, baby it's cold, which is like a frosty blue. Uh, down the chimney, which is like a darker black color. And then fruit cake. <laughs> In the Swan palette here, we have Fine Cone, which is a highlighter, uh, Break the Ice, December 25th, Turtle Doves, uh, All That Gifts, Miss Kringle, and Secret Santa. And I just think that some of these are really, really pretty, especially these like sparkly pinks. I just think you could do such a fun makeup look with them. Okay, and then the raccoon one, <laughs> we have Sleigh Bells, Kiss for Santa, Let It Snow, which is such a pretty, like, snowy, very, very faint baby light pink, which that is, like, my favorite type of shade. Uh, Nuts for Christmas, <laughs> Fa La La, Deck the Halls, Hot Chocolate, spelled H-A-U-T-E, like hot, hot, <laughs> and then Everything's Nice. Okay, so, oh, and then also inside of the palette, inside of the box, you get a little mini version of their mascara, which is their Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but this one has little snowflakes on it, so it's like limited edition, cute. But to get started here for my face, I already have moisturizer and sunscreen on, so we're ready to go. I am going to apply for my base the Ilia Super Serum Skinned Tint SPF 40. I have become obsessed with this in quarantine. It's like basically a tinted serum and it's just so beautiful on the skin. It makes your skin just look really healthy, natural, glowy. And it has a dropper here, just like a serum. And provides like a really natural glow. It's like the most natural looking base foundation ever. And it feels really good on the skin. The one thing I will say though is it feels a little bit heavy, like thick, but just knowing that there's only good things in there and you're protecting your skin with the SPF, I feel like 
whatever. <laughs> All right, moving on to concealer, I'm going to do something a bit more matte. So I am using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. So I'm going to use this with this Rare Beauty brush and go over any spots that are still a little bit red just to conceal. So then to lock that all in with a powder, I am using the Glossier Wowder and I just swirl it around with the powder brush and I am patting mostly the places that I applied to concealer just to make sure that it doesn't move around okay now I'm gonna pause there for the face and go into the eyes so I'm just gonna take a little bit more whatever concealer I'm using that day is what I put on my eyes is like a base and I'm sorry if you guys can hear any city sounds outside my window is open because it's hot in here. <laughs> I live in like such an old building and they have these like really old heating systems. Oh, so many choices. All right, so let me lay all these out so I can see all the colors. So starting with the raccoon, <laughs> I'm going to use this shade in here called Fa La La. And I think I'm just going to put that on a fluffier brush. And apply that into the crease a little bit here just to kind of warm everything up I usually don't really like warm tones I'm so much more of like a cool toned girl but you know and then just to darken that up a little bit I'm going to use ding dong which is like a nice brown and I'm using that on a crease brush, so I'm holding it sort of at the end here and just gently blending that in. It's so hard not to make that face when I'm doing mascara. I have to remind myself not to do it. Okay, now that the brush has like no more product on it, I'm just buffing that out. Kind of like in between shade and highlighter shade. I think I'm going to use in the Swan palette this light pink here. It's called Break the Ice. And just highlight my brow bone with that one. Yeah. Alright, so now I want to kind of create a dimension, more of a dimension on my eyes. So I'm going to do a darker brown in the outer corners, and then we're going to do a glitter and then highlight the inner corner. So to do that, I am going to, I think, use this shade here called Hot Chocolate, which is in the Raccoon palette. And, bloop, <laughs> just stamping that shade into the outside. And now that I have that color there, I'm going to take a, another brush and just blend that out. All right. Now on the Deer palette, I'm using this really shiny gold shade called All the Jingle Ladies. And yeah, it looks like a very metallic-y color, which is what I would like to put in the center of my eyes to give it a glow. So I'm using my finger here and I'm just, ooh yeah, popping that right in there. Alright, and as you can see on me, that's like really gold, like too gold. So what I'm going to do is actually mix on top of that in the raccoon palette, let it snow, that really pretty snowy, almost pinky, cooler shade. So I'm putting that on top of the gold to just blend it in and make it a little bit more of a champagne color, which I think is just a little bit softer um, on me. Okay, I'm also going to take let it snow again and pop it in the inter inner corner of my eyes. And as you guys can see, I'm just a little bit messy with it, but it's okay. We're going to blend everything out later. <laughs> so now I just want to kind of blend everything out seamlessly. So what I'm going to do is on a clean, fluffy brush, I'm taking this very light pink shade in the Swan palette called Break the Ice. And I'm just going to go over my entire eye which will just really blend everything in nicely. A makeup artist at Dior taught 
me this once, this little trick, and I have been doing it ever since. Okay, now lastly, we want, for the eyeshadow, we definitely want to line the eyes. So I'm going to use this really dark shade here called Down the Chimney in the Deer Palette with an angled eyeliner brush. And it looks like a very dark shade, so. All right. Yeah, I feel like that just lifted my eye up a little bit here versus this one. And then for mascara, of course, we have to use the little one that came in the packet. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. This is the Surat Eyelash Curler. You have eyelash extensions or fake lashes. I feel like that would be great with this eye look just because it's a little bit more dramatic. Uh, but if you don't, this mascara is pretty good. It's very like volumizing, curling, all of those things. Alright, so I did two coats of mascara on the top, one coat on the bottom. Now we're going to move back to the face real quick. So I'm using my Guerlain Terracotta, Terracotta Bronzer in Light. Looks like this, just with a fluffy brush. And I'm just doing this to sort of warm up my face a bit, give it some color and warmth <laughs> in the winter. Because this is a glowy, festive <laughs> winter Christmas look, I'm going to do a lot of highlighter. <laughs> so first I'm using the Rare Beauty highlighter. This is in Enlighten. It's a liquid illuminizer. And I love how it has this doe foot applicator. It makes it really easy to apply and just blend that out with my fingers then I'm using this palette that I have been using non-stop since I got it recently and that is the Dior Backstage palette this one is called Rose Gold so it's like highlighters and a blush or that could kind of be a highlighter too uh, whatever you want, but I love the Dior Backstage Collection. You guys know I use that uh, Cool Tones eye palette every day. Uh, so yeah, I just love everything from it. I kind of mix all three of the highlighter shades together and just go over the highlighter. Then for blush, I'm also using something from the Dior Backstage palette. This is the Rosy Glow Blush. I have wanted this for years, since I think I was in like high school. I don't know why I never got it. Uh, but anyways, yes, it looks like this. So it's a really bright pink, and it kind of almost like forms naturally to your cheek color. But it's just a really natural rosy glow. Very like think <laughs> like girly cute little pink shade wow I, oh, I love that okay <laughs> I always do a little bit on the nose chin and forehead I don't know why it's just a thing I've always done and I feel like in the winter now it kind of makes you look like you just came inside from the cold <laughs> and your nose is a little red I don't know I just like it so then finally it would not be a holiday look without a red lip and this has been my tried and true red lip every year for the holidays. It is from Sephora's own brand. The shade is called Always Red. I can't even see it, but I know what it's called. And yeah, it's just like from their own line of lipsticks. It's like a liquid lipstick. And it is the perfect holiday red color. Yay, okay. I love this shade too because since it's a liquid lip, it's going to stand all night like it's already dry. So say if you were at a party and you were drinking your champagne with your pretty dress on, then it won't come off on the glass um, or whatever. I mean, it might slightly because I mean, you can never fully prevent, prevent that, but more than a regular lipstick. So yay. Okay, this is the final look. I always feel so awkward doing this part. <laughs> okay. <Here's the> 
Yay! Okay. Well, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and are looking forward to the holidays next week already. It's so crazy how quickly everything came up. But yes, uh, let me know if you guys recreate this look uh, or what your fa favorite holiday looks are. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the Fashion Squirrel on Insta. <laughs> and hopefully I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye. Hello guys. <laughs> it's later in the day. I took the lipstick off. I've been on Zoom calls <laughs> for work, but it is snowing outside. <laughs> it's the first snow of the year. Oh. I just want to show you guys because, you know, I'm obsessed with a fire escape, etc. Look at all this snow. Look at the snow on like the little steps. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it says it's supposed to be like two or three feet we're supposed to get. I mean, we'll see if we actually get that much. But yay. Crazy. Okay, update again. <laughs> It's the next morning and there is so much more snow. I woke up out my window. It was just like, cause like my like pillow is right there and I like wake up and I look out my window. It was just flurries of snow. And yeah, as you can see, so much snow. so much for watching I just had to take you out in the snow everyone is out here shoveling and doing all the pretty snow falling down but um yeah if you got to this little extra part at the end of the video <laughs> then leave up in your comment leave the word snow and hopefully I'll see you guys next time all right bye